Good morning. Our entrance antiphon. Perpetual light will shine on your saints, O Lord, and life without end forever. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Today we celebrate the feast of Saints John de Berbouf and Isaac Jogues, who are priests and companions, and they're, who are uh, martyrs as they ministered to the uh, Native Americans up in upstate New York and in Canada. So let's call to mind their, their example today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. As we gather today, we call to mind God's presence with us, and we seek to know his love and mercy. Lord Jesus, you were sent to call the sinners. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to heal the contrite of heart. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who chose to manifest the blessed hope of your eternal kingdom by the toll of Saints John de Berbouf, Isaac Jogues, and their companions, and by the shedding of their blood, graciously grant that through their intercession, the faith of Christians may be strengthened day by day. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you were dead in your transgressions and sins in which you once lived following the age of this world, following the ruler of the power of the air, the spirit that is now at work in the disobedient. All of us once lived among them in the desires of our flesh, following the wishes of the flesh and the impulses, and we were by nature children of wrath like the rest. But God, who is rich in mercy because of the great love he had for us, even when we were dead in our transgressions, brought us to life with Christ. By grace you have been saved, raised us up with him, and seated us with him in the heavens in Christ Jesus, that in the ages to come he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace in his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from you, it is the gift of God. It is not from works, so no one may boast. For we are his handiwork, created in Christ Jesus for good works that God has prepared in advance that we should live in them. The word of the Lord. The Lord has made us, we belong to him. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful song. The Lord has made us, we belong to him. Know that the Lord is God, he made us, his we are. His people, the flock he tends. The Lord made us, we belong to him. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, his courts with praise. The Lord has made us, we belong to him. Give thanks to him, bless his name, for he is good. The Lord, whose kindness endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. The Lord, the Lord made, made us, us, we belong to him. Thanks, 
gospel with the Father. So. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Someone in the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, tell my brother to share the inheritance with me. Jesus replied to him, Friend, who appointed me as your judge and arbitrator? Then he said to the crowd, Take care to guard against all greed, for though one may be rich, One's life does not consist of possessions. Then he told them a parable. There was a rich man whose land produced a bountiful harvest. He asked himself, What shall I do? For I do not have the space to store my harvest. And he said, This is what I shall do. I shall tear down my barns and build larger ones. There I shall store all my grain and other goods And I shall say to myself, Now as for you, you have so many good things stored up for many years. Rest, eat, drink, be merry. But God said to him, You fool, this night your life will be demanded of you, and the things you have prepared, to whom will they belong? Thus will it be for the one who stores up treasure for himself, but is not rich in what matters to God. Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the gospel today, we've, we hear that uh, kind of familiar story, I guess you might say, uh, about the guy storing up all of his... Uh, the grain and, and building the bigger um, containers for all of that. Um, and then he decides, man, I've got plenty. I'm, it's time to rest and eat and drink and be merry. Um, and, and his life is taken from him then. And what we, we get to here is, of course, Jesus uses that as an opportunity to tell us, build up and, and store up things that, that matter to God, right? And, and um, St. Ignatius of Loyola talked about the value of detachment, um, that, that spiritual practice of um, separating ourselves from the importance of collecting things and possessions and getting overly attached to those in our lives, uh, detachment. What a great uh, um, what a great thing for us to to continue to familiarize ourselves with and even practice in our own lives so that we can put material things in their proper perspective uh, and build up of course that our relationship with God and build up what matters to him in terms of our prayer life and and how we live and our, our generosity and our charity towards the people around us and uh, thankfully we celebrate today uh, some saints who um, live that in a radical way that sense of detachment uh, John de Berouf, uh, Isaac Jogues the, and their companions who ministered to the Native Americans up, as I said, upstate New York and also in Canada. Um, and they, they um, the, the Native Americans at that point um, and in that area, the Hurons, were pretty savage people. Um, and so they, they uh, saw them immediately would see them as enemies when they came in uh, to do their missionary work. I think they enjoyed some early success um, and then left, but they knew the danger. And then they were called to go back to that area, and they willingly went, knowing the risks and knowing the probability of martyrdom uh, for themselves. And, and yet they, they said yes to that. And they went back because they knew the value of what, they, what it was they had to offer, even in the face of the great danger um, that, they would, that they would surely deal with. And as uh, great models, that their, their lives were less important 
in spreading the good news. Um, what happened to them didn't matter as much as them bringing Christ to those people. And imagine even in our own lives. Thankfully, we're not faced with that choice of, of uh, martyrdom or, or the uh, fear of martyrdom on a day-to-day -day basis, at least physically. But that opportunity that we have to think about what's the most important message that I can share today? And who is it that I might share that with um, throughout the course of my day? And for us to kind of take that, that stance of, Lord, just help me to make me available wherever you need me and to whomever you need me. And so that we can continue this process of sharing the Lord's word and sharing his love uh, in the many ways that we're offered those opportunities throughout the day. So as we continue our prayer today, of course, the Lord comes to us once again to feed us, to be with us, to walk with us on our journey of life and faith. Let's ask him to open us to however he calls us and ask him to help us to uh, generously say yes so that we can give as he would call us to give, live as he would call us to live. Let's stand and we'll offer our prayers this morning. For all church leaders, may they be guided by the Holy Spirit in leading their flocks. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For government leaders, international organizations, and for all who seek an increase in charity throughout the world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all God's children who lack the basic necessities of life, May their needs be met, and may they be blessed with the strength and support they need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, may the Holy Spirit guide our actions in making this house of worship a welcoming place. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died in the light of faith, may they rest in the peace and love of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the special intentions we hold within our hearts. Especially for Ed Brinker, for whom this Mass is being offered this morning, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, we give you thanks and for all the many ways that you bless us. We ask you now to hear us as we pray. Help us to know of your presence and to grow in your love and your peace. We ask all of this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Let us pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise which we offer to your majesty in commemoration of the blessed North American martyrs, that it may lead us to obtain pardon and confirm us in perpetual thanksgiving. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyrs poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which, in our weakness, you perfect your power, and on the feeble, bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Mitchell, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For those unable to receive Holy Communion sacramentally this morning, let us offer our spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We have received your heavenly gifts. Rejoicing at this feast day, O Lord, grant, we pray, that we who in this divine banquet proclaim the death of your Son may may merit to be partakers with the holy martyrs in his resurrection and his glory who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Have a great day. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God.